various groups of women with over 60 female politicians who contested at the 2023 elections converged in Kaduna to strategize for a successful outcome ahead of the 2027 general election. Details in this report. Gender and Constitution Reform Network, a women advocate and civil society organization in the Northwest region, noted that barriers against women political success uh, as a result of manipulation and marginalization in the political space. They stated this in a communication at the end of one day people's hearing. The Northwest coordinator, Dr. Lydia Omar, says despite the region's 23% total population of Nigeria, with half being women, it can only boast of two elected women in the 2023 election. Out of the total of 15,307 persons that contested for the office in the just concluded, in offices in the just concluded 2023 elections nationwide, only 1,553 are women. Women in the Northwest have come of age and are now ably educated and qualified to also take driving seats in the politics and governance of the region. That religion and culture have been manipulated and instrumentalized to keep women out from participating in active politics. The group lamented that political parties conspired to marginalize women from realizing their aspirations to elective positions. Women have very little economic power. Therefore, the fragrant monetization of the political space knocks out women. Major political parties do not give women platforms to contest and therefore Navigating political party primaries is near impossible. While calling on religious leaders to teach the truth irrespective of faith and culture, they appealed to women folk to seek economic empowerment and equip themselves as politics in Nigeria is capital intensive. Call on women to start early. Girls should also be encouraged to take up leadership positions in school and youth associations and other positive clubs. They must be mentored. The education of women and girl child must be pursued in order to equip them to engage with issues. Women need to rise up in solidarity with each other if they must achieve their goal. According to Lydia Omar, out of the total of 15,307 persons that contested for office and the just concluded 2023 elections nationwide, only 1,553 are women. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.